Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the beautiful blob that is France. Today we are at war with Scotland, Sweden, Brandenburg, Cologne, and the Teutonic Order. Uh, I believe our task right now is to siege up Berlin and force him out of the war. I don't know how. I don't know what we're gonna do about Cologne though. I'm, I have no access over there. Although we can get access through Liege, I guess. I just don't want to. But we could get access through Liege and go siege Cologne, force him out of the war. I guess that's what we should do. All right, so go pick up this army. Let's go do that. Last episode, we got... Oh, my air's dead. My 133 air has died. Well, I'm not going to cry for him. 253 with a weak claim. No. We can get someone better. And uh, there's always the chance that, yeah, Von Habsburg, there's always a chance we'll get someone else's dynasty. Then we can go, we can go get a union over their throne. So I'm fine with the, with the Von Habsburgs. Okay, Poland has taken everything from the Teutonic Order. Wow. Poland's strunk, which means we can just full annex him now. So give me a diplomat. I will gladly full annex the Teutonic Order. Goodbye, sir. Take some money. Now, does Poland hate me? Nope. Negative six wants two provinces. No big deal. Core this. I can't core it. Why? Oh, I'm at war with Sweden, of course. Whatever. We'll core it eventually, but delete the fort. And then, uh, let's see, this war... Ah, Brandenburg's at low. Let's get him out of the war. So we gave these three provinces to our vassal Donzig, and I plan on feeding him a lot more down here. He's gonna be... He might, I might even make him into a march. Maybe. Okay, the Ottomans are fighting the Mamluks. That's probably a good time to go beat up the Ottomans. So let's go ahead and peace out Brandenburg real quick. And I'm going to take a diplomat back from Novgorod. I'm going to keep fabricating on the Ottoman Turks. Uh, we can fabricate on like Biga, Sugla, this stuff. Yeah, let's fabricate on Biga. I would like, well Sugla actually would be more important. I would like to get a whole bunch of land from him and to make him just get crippled. So he's currently fighting the Mamluks and Morocco, and Persia. Now, that may or may not sound like a big war, but it, it's probably going to really ruin his uh, manpower and forces and everything. And if I can get, like, the uh, Austrians to join me in an offensive war against the, the Ottomans, I would love it. So pick him up. And let's see if we can piece out of this war real quick. Currently at 12% overextension. I want your capital, and I want Stockholm, and I get anything else? No. What if I piece out you individually? I can do that. Kind of a long way to walk around, huh? Oh, that's probably better. Can I get Aland? There we go. Let's do that. Hey, we got Habsburg. Habsburg. Oh, so good. Our dynasty has changed, everyone. We're now at 20 legitimacy. We have a pretty decent guy, a 452 Von Habsburg. And if we ever see a weakness in Austria, oh my god. Claim that throne. Holy shit. Wow. Habsburg. 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 
Get rid of that fort. Habsburg! <laughs> oh, that's just glorious. Alright, let's go ahead and get plus three stab. Thanks, Pope. And I believe we're ferrying troops down to fight the Ottomans. Yeah. Austria is ready for an offensive war. Which is great. Although we might get coalition before then. Eh, we'll see. Hopefully we don't get coalitioned. God, I can't believe we got his dynasty. That's so good. Oh, come on. He won't be annexed. Really? Oh, he's almost ready for annexation. All right. Well, we'll do it as soon as these claims roll in then. So in the meantime, uh, just get relations up with Austria. Keep him nice and happy. Oh, man. I can't believe. I can't believe we got the Habsburgs. That's so good. Uh, yeah, this coalition war is going to trigger for sure. What is this? Looming disaster. Civil war. Overextension at least 10%. Well, I can't help that. Overextension is natural. Right, he's almost ready for peace. Next month. Keep a diplomat around. No, war reps is not good enough. Oh yeah, now that England has um, Center of Reformation, he's going to be converting our lands. Really sucks. Alright. Goodbye, Scotland. And now that we're at peace, are you finally coring this? Yeah, he's finally coring this. Good. Fan-freaking-tastic. God, that, that aggressive expansion is nuts. Now, I wish I had Poland available for the war on the Ottomans, but I guess it's just going to be Austria. That's fine. Austria is strong, although he is a tech behind us for some reason. Ooh, the North Brazil current. Nobody's colonizing Brazil? I don't believe you. Nobody's colonizing Brazil. Oh, man, it makes me really want to go colonization. I mean, Castile's down here colonizing Africa, but nobody's colonizing Brazil? Why? Overextension at least 10%. Well, we might as well core stuff. And I have a free diplomat. Well, what can we do with a free diplomat? Hmm. We could vassalize Lorraine. I don't need another vassal. Oh, yeah, we need to annex Croatia. Duh. Bye, Croatia. Brandenburg went Protestants. All right, let's take a look at religious map mode here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, Switzerland is going pretty quick. It looks like Saxony and Brandenburg are both going, and England's going. Okay. Let's go pick up another army. How's the Ottoman war going? He is winning. He does have a fort siege down. Castile has declared on Zapotec. So he's going for... Mexico, like right away. He's probably colonizing the Caribbean instead of um, instead of Brazil. It happens. Oh man, we got the Habsburg dynasty. It's so good.
Take over England so you get the 13 French colonies. <laughs> How do you say 13 in French? Just call them the 13 baguettes. Now, down here, I'd like to take um, Byzantium as a vassal. Byzantium has a bunch of cores everywhere. Uh, and if I can just release that vassal, then the second war with the Ottomans will be feeding that vassal. But I would also want to take some land over here so that we can start, you know, pushing into... Pushing into um, the Ottoman heartland. How long will Croatia take to finish? A while. Why is our reputation so bad? Oh yeah, right. Our reputation sucks because our legitimacy sucks. That's kind of a pain. Two hundred and seven points for Stockholm. Well, I'm sure it's worth it. Prove legitimacy. Corporate Savoy. Solidify papal relations. I guess I could do that. Uh, yeah, we could. It would take some time, though. What's the benefit? A little more influence. Eh. Proof legitimacy would be nice, but it's really chance-based. Like, if we get an heir and then we suddenly die, there you go. Legitimacy is at 100. Assuming he's a strong claim heir, right? Is there a Diplo rep advisor? Good question. There is. All right. Let's do a Diplo Rep Advisor. Good idea. That will annex our vassal a little quicker. So Sweden moved his capital down here to Ostergotland. Well, have fun with that, Sweden. I got your capital. <laughs> got your capital. Got your capital. We got a free diplomat here. Um, I guess I'll just start a new claim on the Ottomans. I'll claim, I don't know, Biga. And Poland has moved his capital to Warsaw. Good for you, Poland. I wonder if he's going to cancel Moldavia's march status again. He's already done it once. Pick up this army. So how many troops do you have, Ottomans? 45. Alright, so if I bring into Austria, we're looking at 130 versus 45. That's pretty good. <laughs> Let's get the war started. There's no reason to wait. Now I'll declare for something simple, like uh, Elbasan. Just get some ticking war score. Bring in Austria. Now Poland can join us in a few years. Oh god, Tunis is going to join against us. Crimea. Well, can't help it. I wonder if Castile would join. He has a truce with the Ottomans. Oh. Eh, whatever. Just do it. Elbasan, right? Yeah. And this is also important because we currently don't have an heir. And you never want to be without an heir and at peace. If you're without an heir and you're at peace, there's a chance you could fall under a personal union. If you are at war and you don't have an heir, there is no chance for you to fall under a personal union. There's a chance for a dynasty change, but that's it. Siege them up, boys. Siege them up. Now, we're probably going to need to build some navy if we actually want to uh, dominate this war. So why don't we start building some galleys? We have 900 ducats. Let's go for it. Oh, right. You have to use left shift.
And they're pretty cheap and quick to build. Let's just make 50 of them. Actually, can I just walk? No. Okay. I was thinking since uh, since the Emperor is in the war, I was thinking maybe I could just walk all the way down here, but apparently I can't. Yeah, I can't. Because this isn't Empire land. Even though, even though the guy who owns this is not in the Empire, these provinces themselves are not in the Empire. I mean, yeah, the guy who owns it is in the Empire, but the provinces are not. Just a little caveat, that's all. Make sure the check marks are off. I don't want anybody standing on my face while I siege. Now we're good. Oh. Gain an Inquisitor, lose a Philosopher. Inquisitor is for religious conversion. Um, or we get 20 admin points. I'm going to go for that. Twenty ad or 50 admin points is pretty good. Free Diplomat. Let's work on the Pope. Keep him happy. I'm still debating whether we're going to go to uh, another religion. We'll see. Can't move at all. All right. We'll siege wherever we can. Oh, I can declare on Hungary again. And his only allies are Brandenburg and Austria. Well, I would love to eat some of this. Does Croatia have claims? No. But yeah, I think I could feed Croatia some land here. Well, we'll see. That coalition's getting big. Looks like they might want to declare. I would not be surprised if the coalition declared. Not that we're helpless against it. But we are certainly vulnerable right now. I'm sure they know it. Oh, I can call Castile into the war. Certainly. Get involved. With Castile's help, we should be able to push Tunis and some other people out of the war. Oh no, my two siege general died. Oh, that sucks. Here comes Austria, by the way. Or, the Ottomans. Oh, my two siege general is dead. No good. No bueno. And we're getting attacked now, because my general died. Oh, nope, he changed his mind. Okay. Croatia's kicking his ass. Nice. Get him Croatia. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, no, 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 no. Look at this. Look at this. They have reinforced. All right. Let's make sure we win this. Okay, good. So now that Castile's in the war, he's able to block the um, movement of Ottoman troops. It makes a big difference. It means the Ottomans can't retreat over here to Anatolia. 
So we should be able to kill these stacks wherever they go. Well, that's not true. We can't really go down here, can we? Oh, yeah, we can. We'll see where they go then. Uh, if he goes to Corfu, that would be an ideal situation because we can trap his entire army there. But we'll see. Hmm, Aragon's already landed troops. Fantastic. He has three forts down here. He's got one in Corfu, one in Euboea, and one in Anabolu. And all three of them are blocking us from moving around. It's kind of kind of a pain, but they're doing their job. That's what forts are for. He is going to, over here to Balador. All right. So if he wants to get out of here, he's going to have to come fight us. Well, that's not true. He could go to Yanya. Well, we'll see. We'll see what he does. Austria's dropping off some more troops. Oh, he's going to Corfu. Yes, good. Go siege Corfu. That's a hard place to get. Athens has been sieged. Good, good. Core some more lands. Go siege uh, Constantinople. Go siege Yanya. Really? Fucking AI just abandoned the Siege of Adirn for one second, and then he started sieging again. What a waste of time. What a waste of time. Why would you lift the siege and then do the siege again? You know? Oh, Austria has no air. Oh, man. Can you imagine if he dies and I just get a union just happenstance? Wow, he's got no air right now. Right now he has no air. Holy shit, I can't wait. Yeah, because we had the walls busted in Adirn. God damn it, that sucks. Well, I guess I'll siege it. Finish some barracks. Very good. Uh, our galleys are starting to finish. Good. Let's do some more buildings. Hopefully you can't hear that weed whacker outside. It's pretty noisy, but it's pretty far away. Yeah, because Steel's doing a good job down here. And it looks like this should be a victory. Well, maybe I should send some troops just to be sure. Nice. Oh shit, Castile's no longer blockading over here. Well, damn. Hmm. We'll have to do it ourselves as soon as we finish our galleys. All in due time. Truce with Venice is over, okay. Castile's dumping troops in Mentesi. Oh, that's not Castile, it's Aragon. Fun. I'm curious, why is Castile not forming Spain yet? I mean, sure, he has Tech 10, doesn't he? He's Tech 9, alright. He almost has Spain, okay. Now, when he finishes Spain, he's gonna have claims on us. Hopefully, he won't attack us, but we'll see what happens.
You know what we could do? I believe one of our generals died. Oh, two of them died. Let's see if we can get another general with two siege. That'd be nice. No. Try again. Ah, one siege. Well, better than nothing, right? One siege. Swap these guys out. At least the Siege of Constantinople is going pretty well. Looks like Corfu is about to fall, and we have a free diplomat. Hmm. Work on Poland? Yeah, work on Poland. His relationship is a little fragile. Uh, it looks like no guy is beating the shit out of Novgorod. I don't really care. He finished his core on Muscovy, so I don't really care. Um, I sort of care. I mean, I kind of want to deal with that, but... Effort. Probably just going to ignore that, to be honest. I'll let my allies deal with it. Ah, uh, here comes Aragon's navy. Nice. If Aragon's navy can get up here and block the Sea of Marmara, that'd be great. Okay, we're up to 10 galleys. I think I queued up 50. It doesn't really matter how many we make, just as long as it's enough to deal with the Ottoman Navy. And the other thing is, if we do, if we can conquer a lot of the Ottoman coastline, he won't have enough coastline to support a big navy. So that's another way to deal with it. Go ahead and die, Mr. Joseph. Well, wait until it, wait until the war is over, because then we can have a union. <laughs> That would just be amazing. There goes Constantha Durple. Uh, yep, go ahead and cross. Well, no, 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 no. It's got 44 troops there. Let's not be too aggressive here. If he wants to take a negative two to cross the strait, that'd be great. Otherwise, I don't think I want to let him cross. I'm certainly not going to help over here. Because there's, what, grassland? No, it's woods. Is there a river crossing? No. So it'd be a negative one to his dice rolls? Yeah. No, maybe we can help. Maybe we should help. All right. I'll help. We'll see how it goes. Not ideal, but we'll see. Ottomans were embargoing us. That's fun. God, fighting the Ottomans is just crazy difficult. Look at those losses. It's just insane. But we are winning. It's just a struggle. Yeah, we lost 23,000 soldiers, and they only lost about 12,000. So we lost twice as much, even though we had a better general. And we were defending, so he had a negative one to his all his dice rolls. Didn't matter. Did not matter. Crazy. Just crazy powerful, these Ottomans. Castile and ex-Naples, okay. Interesting. What sucks about not isolating his army is he's free to just move around and do whatever the fuck he wants. So he can come out of the fog of war and surprise you and rip you a new one, you know? But this war is certainly going our way. Surprise Castile's not doing anything in Tunis. I thought that would be his forte. He's just not doing it.
finish some more barracks. Very good. Finishing some more galleys. All right. Oh, Denmark's back. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living, Mr. Denmark. Uh, do I have an army over here? I do. All right, let's go eat him while he's weak. Everyone's coalitioning us. How big is this coalition? I'm curious. It's pretty fucking huge. Let's go get Chios back. Now, I would like to get roads if I could. But that seems very unlikely. Is it timer already? Alright, well before we leave. Let's give a little welcoming parting to uh to Mr. Denmark here. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time, where we'll go and next Denmark and peace out with the Ottomans. I'll see you then. Have a good day.